What's up everybody? This is Michael at Fast Saps. Uh, it's Wednesday and we are at our install. Uh, we are in Newland, which is uh, a place that's new to me. Uh, it's up on top of the mountains here in North Carolina. Actually a really pretty place. Um, this should be a quick, easy install. Um, Tony's setting up the laser level right now, but just a quick look. These cabinets look very nice. Uh, met the customer. He seems like a really nice guy. Um, where the truck's parked close to the uh, to the entrance way and a uh, little steep with the ramp, but the customer actually offered the help. So uh, I, I think it's going to go pretty good. Um, as always, I will keep you informed of any problems we run into and how we solve them. We do have a drop-in sink, so we'll be putting a cooktop bag in the sinkhole area. And, uh, you know, just the usual. So, uh, I will touch back, back base with you here in a second. Alright guys, so most of my videos you'll see me put my laser level up and just kind of show you what we're working with. And then I got to explain to the customer how the cabinets are off and we'll have to put some shins in it and it ain't the end of the world, but I'd just like to let it know. This is kind of what you're looking for when you come into a house and you put your laser level up. Um, I don't know how well you can see it on the video, but this laser is pretty much level all the way across the front of these cabinets over here. Um, we don't have any seams on this job, but if we did, it would make that seam go a lot faster be a lot easier to level up. Everything would just be nice. So uh, th this is exactly what you're looking for. Right, I showed you guys these cabinets are level and, and they're actually pretty sturdy. You've seen me do this on them before and they move about four inches. Um, but we're just gonna go ahead and put a couple uh, braces in here just, just because, just uh, safety wise. Um, I'm gonna put one over here. It's hard to hold the phone and put it in, but uh, and we're gonna put one right here so anyways i'll show you afterwards but uh you know i recommend if you're doing an install and it's open like this if it's quartz that's one thing you can put it on there and not really worry about the supports but if it's granite i, I would highly recommend putting some type of support in there so the braces are in now guys there's zero play in these now and it just it just made good cabinets better uh, so Nothing to it, pretty simple. All right guys, so you guys have seen me used to know this before. So the main thing on the top this size, of course, is don't lift up on it. You want to get back. You want to get your little thickness right down. I'm going to go up so that we're over the top of the cabinet. I'm going to get it just easy. You need to go up on it. All right, let me catch up. So the hardest part for new guys on the install process or when you, you know, have somebody come and help you that maybe works in the office and don't normally install, human nature makes you want to pick up on this to reduce the friction that the stone has when it runs across the cabinet. You know, your whole life, anything heavy you've been moving, 
you pick it up a little bit to slide it to reduce the friction. You cannot do that with stone. That's why you put the rails on there to, to help if somebody makes a mistake or if your cabinets are out of level and you flex. But I say it over and over and over and it doesn't matter how many times I say it, I still have certain people when they're pushing, when it gets hard, they'll pick up on it. And you know, 50% of the time they might get by with it and they give me a look like, see, I, it's all right. <laughs> The other 50% of the time it breaks and then I have to pay for it, so <laughs> just don't do it. <laughs> just don't do it. Thank you, sir. All right, guys. Uh, what has happened since the last time? Um, just because I like to be straight up on my videos, uh, you always want to make sure you have your 30 inches on your cooktop. So we, we placed our tops in and we had like 29 and three quarters, so we was a quarter inch short. I was missing about an eighth inch on this right hand side here, and approximately an eighth inch on the left hand side here. So what I did is took the right hand piece out, took an eighth inch off the right hand side that went up against the cabinet. For the left hand side here, what we did is scored the wall with the multi-tool, um, as you can see it there. And we just pushed this top in um, an eighth inch. Now we're totally flush with the cabinets and we got right at our 30 inches. Um, anybody that installs knows if you do not have your 30 inches, you're coming back out to the job 100%. So you always got to make sure you do that. All right, guys, we uh, went ahead and dropped this sink. As you saw earlier, I had it blocked. Um, just another look at the cooktop bag. I'm gonna kind of show you, Tony. You hold this for me while I pull this cooktop bag. So uh, you gotta be careful when you're pulling too, because everything if you just can't get in the cabinet will get in there. If you don't, you aren't careful when you pull it. This will save your customers uh, slides on his drawer. You know, basically if you've got a any dishes or anything in here that we covered with dust if you don't use one of these. But if you do, you see there's no dust other than where we went to the wall, which will vacuum that out. But uh, you saw that minute dust. All right, guys, we finished the job. Uh, turned out real nice. Of course, it's got sealer on it. We just went over aftercare with the customer. We uh, checked the sink, made sure it fit. The customer's gonna put all of his feedings and such on there before he puts it in the hole, just for the same reason I would do it, so you don't have to crawl under a stupid sink and kill your back. But you see, we picked up our blankets, swept the floor, dishwasher brackets in there. Um, all in all, a very good job, man. I, it was actually an enjoyable job, so. And that you don't hear me say that very often but uh all right guys we got about an hour and five minute ride back to the shop i'm gonna get my photos and call it a day thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't and like it if you liked it i'll see you on the next one